Welcome to our channel. Today, we'll be diving deep into whooping cough, also known as pertussis a highly contagious respiratory disease that can affect people of all ages but is especially dangerous for infants. We'll cover what it is, how it spreads, its symptoms, diagnosis, treatment, and how you can prevent it. So stay tuned if you want to learn more about this important topic. What is whooping cough? Whooping cough, or pertussis, is a bacterial infection of the respiratory tract caused by Bordetella pertussis. It's known for causing severe coughing spells that can last for weeks and may end with a whoop. sound a gasp for air that follows the coughing fit. This illness is especially dangerous for babies, who may suffer complications like pneumonia, brain damage, or even death if left untreated. Despite vaccination programs, whooping cough still causes significant outbreaks worldwide and is re-emerging in some communities. Causes and Transmission the culprit behind whooping cough is a gram-negative bacterium called Bordetella pertussis. This bacteria attaches to the lining of the respiratory tract and releases toxins that damage the cilia, tiny hairs that help clear mucus, and cause inflammation. How it spreads Airborne transmission, through coughing or sneezing Droplet spread close contact with an infected person. Highly contagious, up to 90% of close contacts can become infected. Infected individuals are most contagious during the early stages even before the cough starts. Stages of whooping cough Whooping cough progresses in three stages, which can span over 6 to 10 weeks if untreated. One catarrhal stage 1-2 weeks. Resembles the common cold. Mild cough, runny nose, low fever. Highly contagious at this stage. 2 paroxysmal stage, 1-6 weeks. Severe, uncontrollable coughing fits, paroxysms. Followed by a high-pitched hoop sound when breathing in. May cause vomiting exhaustion, and cyanosis, blue lips. Especially dangerous for infants they may not cough but may have apnea, stop breathing. 3. Convalescent stage, weeks to months. Gradual recovery. Cough becomes less frequent but can linger for weeks or months. This long-lasting cough gives whooping cough the nickname, the 100-day cough. Symptoms The symptoms vary by stage and age of the person. In older children and adults. Persistent dry cough. Gasping hoop sound. Post-tussive vomiting. Mild fever. Exhaustion after coughing fits. In infants under 6 months. Apnea. Pauses in breathing. Cyanosis, blue lips slash face. Poor feeding. Seizures, in severe cases. Infants may not cough forcefully, so symptoms can be easily missed making it more dangerous. Diagnosis. Early diagnosis is challenging, especially during the catarrhal phase when symptoms resemble a cold. Diagnostic tests include. Nasopharyngeal swab culture, gold standard but takes days. PCR testing, rapid and accurate. Serology, antibody test in later stages. Chest X-ray, 
may show signs of pneumonia in complications. Because early treatment is critical, many doctors start antibiotics based on clinical suspicion alone. Treatment Antibiotics Macrolids like azithromycin, clarithromycin, or erythromycin. Most effective if started in the catarrhal phase. Reduces infectivity, but may not shorten the duration if given late. Supportive care. Oxygen therapy if needed. For fluids for dehydration. Antipyretics, for fever. Avoiding triggers like dust or smoke. Hospitalization may be necessary for Infants under 6 months Severe respiratory distress Apnea or complications Complications Pertussis can lead to serious complications, especially in babies and the elderly. In infants Pneumonia Seizures Brain damage Apnea Death In older children slash adults Rib fractures from coughing Urinary incontinence Fatigue Hernias About 1 in 100 infants with pertussis may die, making prevention crucial. Prevention Vaccination is key. DTAP vaccine for children, diphtheria, tetanus, pertussis. Given at 2, 4, 6, 15, 18 months, and a booster at 4, 6 years. Tdap booster, for adolescents and adults. Pregnant women, should receive Tdap during third trimester to protect newborns. Cocooning strategy. Vaccinate close family slash friends of infants. Other preventive measures. Isolate infected individuals. Practice good hand hygiene. Wear masks when symptomatic. Avoid exposure to infected people. Conclusion. Hooping cough is more than just a bad cough it's a serious, potentially life-threatening disease especially for babies. The good news? It's preventable with timely vaccination and early treatment. So, stay up to date on your immunizations, watch for early symptoms, and consult your healthcare provider if you suspect pertussis. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with others, and don't forget to subscribe for more health education videos. Stay healthy and informed until next time.